The brand new spinoff to American Horror Story entitled American Horror Stories is finally premiering on Hulu next week on July 15th, and since we last discussed it, FX has released the first official teaser for the show. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, make sure you check out my last video about the spinoff where I go over everything we know about the show. But if you're still watching this video, I'm assuming that you know what the show is, so I'm just going to jump into my breakdown of the teaser, because there is a lot going on in it. Before we begin, I want to take this moment to thank my members for making these videos possible. I cannot thank you enough for your support. Alright, I'm going to go practically shot for shot with this, so let's just start with the first shot. The teaser opens with a drone shot over the ocean, which then travels to the skyline of Los Angeles, which then travels to a red field where we see the rubber woman outside of the murder house. Not much to analyze here, as we already know that the first two episodes of American Horror Stories will take place at the murder house and will feature a rubber woman, and of course we know that the murder house is located in Los Angeles, as the rubber woman approaches the front door of the murder house, she starts to glitch a bit and even disappears momentarily. This moment, along with the teaser's final scene, makes me think that this may be a hint that these episodes that take place at the murder house might have something to do with an altering reality or a shift between dimensions, but more on that later. Once inside, we see shadows of barbed wire on the walls, Although sometimes these shapes do remind me of the Roanoke Blair Witch-esque dolls, but as we see later, this pattern is really just barbed wire. Um, if this barbed wire is intended to be a hint, my money is on an episode of the spinoff potentially taking place in a prison, as that has been a long-requested theme that American Horror Story has yet to cover. And fun fact, early plans for the second season of AHS were for it to be a prison theme, so... Perhaps this show will be where they finally get to explore that concept. Then we get a little jump scare of an alien that has a very similar design to the one that we saw way back in American Horror Story Asylum. Although this one has very clearly human hands, which definitely were not a part of Asylum's creature design, we are pretty certain that the second half of season 10 of American Horror Story, which is titled Double Feature, will involve an alien storyline, so I think this easter egg might be a fake out because I don't think American Horror Story will want to do double dosage of aliens after about a decade of not acknowledging their existence at all. So I find it hard to believe that aliens will make appearances in both American Horror Stories and Season 10, but who knows, perhaps American Horror Stories could explore the specific race of aliens that we saw in Asylum, and maybe Double Feature will explore some other extraterrestrials. Or at the very surface level, this could just be a hint that an episode of American Horror Stories will relate to Asylum in some way. But moving on, we then get a look at the ceiling where we see some sort of demon with four arms and four legs. This demon is visually very reminiscent of the ghosts of the Chen family that we saw back in Roanoke. Next, we get a look at an operation room in this version of the murder house, and we also see a mother and a daughter. This is most likely a reference to Charles Montgomery and the things that he did in the house's basement. Does this mean that we will be revisiting Charles in the spinoff? Next, we see a tall and lanky man with some very long arms. The first thing I thought of were these creatures that will be in double feature, but the man is also very visually similar to Slenderman. I wouldn't be surprised if an episode takes inspiration from the urban legend of the Slenderman. There is also a frame of this man that I think looks an awful lot like Michael Myers, so honestly I can't be certain which of these references they're actually trying to reference, but... To me, Slenderman seems like the most obvious comparison we can make, so that's what I'm going with. Next, we see three girls standing at a table of candles and their eyes are glowing red. I'm taking this as a hint that maybe the three main characters in the first episode of the series are practicing some sort of witchcraft. This was something that I suggested in my other video about this spin-off, as set photos showed them wearing cloaks and holding wands, so honestly, I'm pretty certain that this shot is a reference to our three mains for the Rubber Woman episodes. 
Next, a man with an axe darts through a hallway, and this could be a reference to maybe the axe man of Coven, but the way he swings his axe makes me think of circus entertainers, which supports rumors that an episode of the spinoff will involve some sort of circus, which inevitably would probably reference season four's freak show, but Moving on, the rubber woman then walks through a door into a red void where she comes face to face with the actual rubber man. Like in the beginning, both rubber people are glitching in and out. They both draw knives and swing at each other, but it seems that the rubber woman made contact first as the rubber man then explodes into some latex bubbles. The rubber woman then rips open the void and walks through it. This definitely makes me think that the Murder House episodes will involve someone trying to alter the timeline as we know it. Maybe time travel is at play again, although I hope this is not the case. But maybe we're getting a look at the Murder House in a different reality or a different dimension or some other sort of supernatural explanation of two different realities merging. Something along those lines I think could be interesting, and that definitely seems like something that this teaser is hinting at. From there, the teaser cuts to the word stories, but each letter is made up of something unique that relates to at least one of American Horror Stories' seasons. The S is represented by a snake, which makes me think of Coven and Apocalypse's imagery. The T momentarily looks like a crucifix, which brings to mind both Asylum and Coven. The O seems to be a reference to Roanoke's Blood Moon, although it also looks similar to The Ring. The R is made up of skulls, which reminds me of Apocalypse, particularly its title sequence. The I is a hand that looks like the classic image of a zombie rising from the ground, specifically like in the Evil Dead posters. If this is a reference to zombies, I'll call this another Coven reference. The E and the last S look like smoke and fire. Images very synonymous with Apocalypse. The letters switch up a bit, and some other symbols that can be seen are a knife, more hands, roots or veins, and then what is maybe a sickle or some medical tools. I can't quite make it out exactly, but... The only season that we know for sure will be related to this spinoff is Murder House, and for all we know, the remaining episodes will have no references to any other season. But if we want to be bold and take these letters as hints as to what seasons will be referenced in the spinoff, my money is on them being at least Asylum, Roanoke, and Coven slash Apocalypse, solely because they seem to be the only other seasons that are referenced in this teaser. Like I said before, there is a lot going on in this teaser, and it's a bit difficult to make any sense of as there's no real plot or anything concrete happening, but it's always fun to pick this stuff apart as the American Horror Story ad campaigns often hide little hints here and there. But those are all of my thoughts on this teaser specifically, but please continue the discussion in the comments below by letting me know anything I missed, and just let me know what your theories are about this teaser and the show as a whole. But before I go, I want to give you guys some more updates about the spin-off, as the synopses and titles for the first four episodes have been revealed. These all come from the website Spoiler TV, who gets press releases directly from FX, so these are reliable. Episode 1 is titled Rubber Woman Part 1, and the synopsis is as follows. A teenager and her dads move into a forsaken home with a grim past. As the family makes renovations, a darkness takes root within them. The episode is written by Ryan Murphy and Brad Falchuk, with AHS regular Lonnie Peristeer directing. Episode 2 is titled, you guessed it, Rubber Woman Part 2, and its synopsis is as follows. Scarlet enters a twisted new romance while Michael and Troy are forced to confront their rocky relationship. This episode is written by Brad Falchuk only and directed by Lonnie Peristeer as well. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the Michael referenced in the synopsis is definitely not going to be Michael Langdon, so don't get your hopes up, but who knows. It could be if this episode is messing with alternate realities, but no, I'm gonna say this is not our Michael. Episode 3 will be called Drive-In, and this is its synopsis. A screening of a forbidden film has disastrous consequences. The episode is written by Manny Cotto, and directed by Eduardo Sanchez. 
Manny Cotto has a ton of television credits, notably writing a handful of episodes of Dexter, 24, and Star Trek Enterprise, but I think his most impressive credit is that in 2001, he directed Xenon, the sequel, which honestly will be hard for him to top. But anyway, Eduardo Sanchez is known for co-directing and co-writing The Blair Witch Project, so we have the director of one of the most influential horror films of this generation directing an episode of American Horror Stories, so I think this episode is in some pretty cool hands, but I mean Blair Witch isn't nearly as influential as Xenon the Zequel, but I digress. Episode 4 is titled The Naughty List and is about a group of influencers facing a reckoning after posting a problematic video online. This is the episode with this cast that we talked about in my last video, and it is the Christmas-themed episode that has been confirmed. The episode is written by Manny Cotto and directed by Max Winkler, who has a handful of TV credits, most recently writing an episode of Cruel Summer. All right, so we only have the synopses up to episode four so far, but let me know all of your thoughts, theories, and opinions on all things regarding this spinoff, its teaser, the synopses, and whatever else you want to tell me about in the comments below. And I will be reviewing the premiere episode of American Horror Stories, which, um, you know, drops on July 15th, so that will likely be the next video you see from me, so make sure you're subscribed because I am excited to talk to you all about the episode. It's been almost two years since I've reviewed an episode of American Horror Story, so I'm excited. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.